everybody, welcome to the channel. Tiffany Quinn here. Today you're gonna learn how to use your mini resistance band to do a full body workout. So we are gonna work the arms, we're gonna work the abs, some of the glutes, the inner thigh, and what we're gonna get started with is that lighter resistance band. So we are gonna move to the heavier ones, so have that in front of you. But first things first, let's come down into a sit up position, get that light resistance band and wrap it around your wrist. So we are gonna do a full sit up, bring those arms in front of you, come down to the floor, Bring it back up, bring those arms overhead, and bring it in and out. So you're extending those arms overhead, and you're going to keep tension on that band the entire time. So let's get started with our workout in three, two, one. Suck those, that core in nice and tight. Come down to the ground, bringing those arms right above you, bringing it back up using your abs. Lift those arms overhead and extend out and back in. So we can take this nice and slow, and I really want you to have control over that band and also the tension in your abs. Now we are gonna do 40 second exercises today. We're gonna give 20 seconds rest so that you can adjust that band and just follow along the whole way through while I guide you with the best cues to get the best results out of every exercise we're doing. Okay, let's take it down one more time. Keeping tension on that band. Bring it back and bring those arms overhead. Extend out, back in, and release those arms down. So we are gonna flip it around. We're gonna stick with the arms for just a little bit here, but then we're gonna move to the glutes and finish off with the ab exercises. So what I want you to do is take that leg band, you're gonna tuck it under your foot. So a nice flex in that foot, come into a high plank position here. We're gonna do a bicep curl. So that palm is facing out, and you're gonna bring that palm up and back down. Let's go. So just a bicep curl, we're all familiar with this, it's just another way to do it. Now you want to squeeze that elbow in towards the waist as tight as you can so that you have full control over that band. And again, you want to keep tension on it. So as you come down, when you get to the point where the tension starts to release on that band, I want you to keep it there and bring it back up. So don't lose that tension on the band, we're really focusing on that bicep muscle. So just concentrate on the muscle you're trying to use right now, squeezing that elbow in, Pulling it up towards the chest, nice and slow, control movements here. Keep that face towards the mat, and give me one more up. Bring it back down, you can release that band, and just like that, we're gonna switch over to the other side. So you can shake out that arm. You've got 20 seconds to rest. Wrap it around the foot, put a loop in that band. Hand below the shoulder, suck that core in nice and tight. Flex that foot, relax the other. A lot of cues to keep up with, right? And let's bring that palm up, squeezing that elbow in. Now the entire time, you really want to focus on trying to keep that upper body stable. So notice nothing else is moving except for my arm right now. So as if you were trying to balance your favorite drink on your back. So if you like margaritas, if you like Arnold Palmer's, you're balancing that drink on your back and you don't want to lose balance on it. You don't want to lose that drink because after a workout, you get to have it. Okay, keep it going for five, nice and slow, four, Keep it going. Three, don't lose tension on that band. Just stay where you are. And two, bring it back down. Last one, make it your best one. Bring it up and squeeze and you can release. So now we're gonna take it into a front arm extension. Now with this light band, still sticking with that light band, you're gonna pop that under your knee. Your palm is facing in this time. So same position we were in before and you're gonna extend that arm up and back down. All right, are you ready for this? Let's go in three, two, one. Now this one is a killer for the triceps and the shoulders, and you are definitely gonna feel things toning up on this. Just take your time with it. Now if you feel like you're leaning towards one side or your body is twisting at all, I just want you to bring it down a little bit lower because the whole point of this is to keep that upper body stable and make sure you're working those arms. Now you can do this. You can get through these exercises and if you feel otherwise, if you're starting out this workout, like, I don't know if I can do this, just try, because you never know what your body's capable of until you just give it a shot and try to get through it. So squeeze that core nice and tight so that your back is straight, and bring it up two more times for me. Last one up, bring it back down, and you can release, we're gonna switch that other side. So again, tucking that band under the knee, and then after this, we get to move to the glutes. So I know we love to work the booty, I know we love to work the abs, and just save, save the best for last, working up the best one. So palm faces in, that hand below the shoulder, nice straight line from hand to shoulder, and let's bring that arm up. Now this one I definitely feel the next day. You are gonna feel it. Now you're using your shoulder to bring that band up, still keeping tension on it. So once you feel that tension starting to loosen up, I want you to just bring it back up for me, keeping that upper body stable. Remember that Arnold Palmer on your back. You really want that iced tea after this. 
because we're gonna be sweat and storm up. Okay, I know, I, and I love how many different ways that you can use resistance bands to really, really strike up that burn in your muscles. All right, let's take it for another three, and two, and last one up. Okay, bring it down. Now we get to switch that heavier resistance band. So medium, heavy, however much you wanna challenge yourself, Take that band and you're gonna put it around right above your knees here. Now we're gonna flip back towards the ground and you're gonna lay down, bring your legs into a bow shape here and pressing those feet together. Have that head on the floor and you're just gonna squeeze up and hold for three, two, one, and back down. Now, we're gonna bring it up. Now what you're squeezing here is those glutes. We really wanna activate them so that we're getting the most out of this as we do our glute exercises that are coming up next. Because if you don't activate them right away, then really you're not working the muscles that you're trying to work. So bring it up and hold for three, two, one. Extend those knees out towards the side a little bit more. Bring it back down. Let's do that one more time. Squeeze that cord nice and tight up for three, two, one. You should be starting to feel it on the outer sides of your glutes now. And bring it up last time for three, two, one. Amazing job. You can release those legs down and we're going to take it into a kickback. So for the kickbacks, you're gonna keep this band where it is, right around your knee here, and you're gonna put a flex in both of your feet, and we are going to kick out towards the back and bring it back down. So now we're gonna light up the under area of that booty. So step that core nice and tight, and you wanna keep that upper body stable so nothing else is moving here. Only my lower body, my glute is bringing that leg up. So focus, focus, focus on the muscle that you're using here. You're using that butt, to bring that leg up and down. So you're not using your knee, you're not using your foot because we're really not trying to work our feet, right? We're trying to work the glutes. So bring it up and back down, holding that tension. And look how easy it is once you get going. Once you get three minutes into that workout, you're already, your mindset is there. You're ready to finish it off. And we're already halfway through the workout. So keep it going, guys. Lift that foot up into the air, bringing it back down and back up. Nice, slow, controlled movements. Okay, give me one more. Back down and release. Awesome, we've got another side to do because once we do the one side, we gotta do the other side, right? So put that flex in the foot and in three, two, one, suck the core in nice and tight, head is facing the mat. If you feel that band starting to roll, just adjust it back down. I know as they get warm actually, they start to roll a little bit. So nice controlled movements here. Bring that leg up, bring it back down. And both of my hips here are facing the ground. So the more that you tuck those hips under and squeeze that core in, the more you're gonna feel it in your glute. So you wanna try to find that sweet spot. So if you want, you can try to release the tension in your foot and see if that feels a little bit more, more burning there. Because every, every time you do an exercise, different muscles are activating, different muscles are lighting up. So you might wanna change and adjust your position a little bit to see where you really feel that burn. And if that's the spot you hit, then you wanna stay there, okay? So give me three, two, one more up, and bring it down. Awesome, so we're gonna stay right here, again, keeping that band in the same place, and we are gonna take it into a fire hydrant. So for this, you're gonna relax that foot this time, keeping those hands under the shoulders, you're gonna bring that leg out towards the side, and back down. Now we're gonna hold it up in the air for three seconds. So bring that leg out towards the side, and hold for three, two, one. Bring it back down, let's do that again. Bring it up and hold for three, two, one, and try, really try, try, try to keep those hips facing the ground. It's really gonna help you feel it. Now, if you're leaning towards one side, then you're not gonna be working the glute muscle as much as we really want to because we wanna, we wanna tone it up, am I right? Okay, bring it back down and hold up for three, two, one. Let's take it one more time. Bring it up and hold for three, two, one, and you can release that knee down to the ground. Just like that, we've got one more side to do, and then we get to switch to the abs. So, get those hands right below the shoulders, press through those palms, release those shoulders away from the ears, and in three, two, one, bring that leg out towards the side. Now, I want you to make sure that your neck is in line with your back here, so suck that core really, really tight. The harder you squeeze those abs, and the more you're going to engage your body to keep that straight position and release any tension in the foot, and focus, focus, focus on the glute and that inner thigh, bringing your leg up into the air. So you will be feeling this in your glute, around the sides of it, and also on that inner thigh area, and a little bit of that outer thigh. So 
bring it up and hold for three, two, one. Tuck those hips under, make sure those hips are facing the ground and come up again for three, two, one. Pressing through those palms to keep stability. Nothing is moving except for that lower body. Hold for three, two, one, and bring it down. You can release, so just like that, we are finished with the glute exercises and we are gonna switch back to that lighter band. So now you're gonna see the difference of how, how much easier it gets once you go back to that lighter band. So once you've tried that heavier band, you're gonna say to yourself, wow, I really am capable of that. So you're gonna tuck this lighter band around both of your feet here. We're gonna come up into a high plank and you're going to mountain climb in and out. So just crunching those abs and let's go. So really press through those palms, press through those fingertips, focus, focus on that lower ab area. So you really want to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze so that you're really feeling those abs engage. Now right here, we're going to be working the lower ab area as well as the side ab area. So at the end of this, you might, you might see them pop into the mirror a little bit. So if you didn't like me before, you might tell yourself, hey, you know what? I kind of like this girl. She's getting me results because these are all of the exercises that I did to get myself in shape. And the more I do these videos, I'm telling you guys, the more I see those muscles coming through. All right, give me one more on each side. And you can release down. So now we are going to flip over onto our backs. You know, you've been waiting for this moment, right? We got a nice upper body workout there. And we are going to do some bicycles. So keep that band where it is. And you're gonna flex those feet, bring those elbows out towards the side. Face the ceiling, and we're gonna lift up, extending one leg, and lifting the opposite elbow to the opposite knee. Let's do this. So really try to keep those elbows out, and you wanna use your abs, that upper ab area, so right here, and the side abs, to bring your shoulder off the ground. So if you can see your elbows right now, I want you to extend them just a little bit further out. Keep it going, bring that elbow up towards the knee, extending that foot, keeping those feet flat so that you don't lose that pan. And I know it's killer, but we've only got 10 seconds left to go. So give me five, four, three, two, and last one. Make sure it's your best one, bring it up, and you can release down. So again, keeping that band where it is. Now for this, I wanna make sure that your back is flat against the ground. So as if somebody just poured glue all over it. And I'm not talking Elmer, Elmer's glue, I'm talking Gorilla Glue. So let's bring those legs up into the air and to keep that back flat, you're gonna suck that belly button in towards the spine so hard, squeeze it, tuck those hips underneath. You're going to extend one leg, keeping this at a 90 degree angle for the bent knee. Relax those hands to the side, and we're gonna pulse it right here. So, let's do this. So relax those shoulders down, release any tension in the jaw. Now, if you are feeling your back come up at all, I want you to just bring your leg a little bit higher, and bring that knee in towards the chest a little bit more, which is gonna help release some of that tension, which is gonna bring that back towards the ground. So whatever you need to do to keep that back from lifting, that's what I want you to do. Because if your back is lifting off the ground, well then you're not working your abs anymore, you are working the lower back, which is essentially just going to damage it. Okay, give me three, two, one more pulse, and bring it back in. Now, shake it out, and you can release down for about five seconds here. And in three, two, one, bring those legs back up towards the ceiling. Release that other leg towards the floor, holding the tension on the band, 90 degree angle at that bent knee. And in three, two, one, just pulse it out for me. Making sure that back is nice and flat against the ground. Release tension in the face, breathe and smile. We have one more exercise after this. So we are not gonna tap out now. You want those results. You wanna know these exercises. You can add them to your daily routine or when you go through my other videos and you're watching them, and one of these exercises come up and we're just doing body weight, then you can know how to add the resistance band. And that's why I do so many different versions of the exercise so that you know how to make it more challenging for yourself. Now don't get me wrong, you can do these and still tone up without all the equipment, without the weights, without the resistance band, but it's always nice to add on that extra level because then we just feel so much better. Like, we can do this, right? Okay, give me three, two, one, and release. The last exercise. You're gonna bring that band right around your ankles, shoot those legs up into the sky. Good job, we've got this. Straighten it out, straighten those toes, and we're gonna pulse out and in, just like we did with our arms, but now with our legs, squeezing those abs in. So now we're working the lower abs, and you're gonna drop it lower to the ground, as low as you can, without that back coming off the ground and bringing it back up. Come on, guys, you can do this last exercise. Tone it up, tone it up. Get those abs popping. All right, we've got 10. Nine, eight, seven, 
seven, extend that band a little bit further. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, you can release down. Now let's just take it into our cool down. So that is a few different ways that you can use your resistance bands. You can pop those off to the side. You're done with those now. I want you to flip around to your mat, bring those hands below your armpits, and just lift up through the chest, releasing that tension and the abs. Yes, now you can release. I know the whole time I'm telling you, suck those abs and keep tension on the band, but this time you can release. Okay, and breathe for three, two, and one, release down. Let's just stretch out those arms a little bit. So for this, I just want you to come to the center and just bring an arm across for me and gently hold, don't tug it. I just want you to pull very lightly. Hold for three, two, one, and bring that other arm across and hold for three, two, one, okay, and just shrug those shoulders out, give me three rolls back, and three rolls forward, amazing job everybody, did you enjoy those, those exercises, if you did, let me know in the comments, definitely give the video a like, subscribe to the channel for more exercises like these, and honestly on the channel we only use, we do a lot of body work, weight exercises, we do resistance bands and free weights, so there's not a lot of equipment that you need, and any of my workouts you can do without the equipment, so I'm here to help you tone up everything, and if you are trying to tone up and trying to lose weight and you're not seeing results from other exercises, well I'm going to help give you the cues to get you the best results at a faster pace. Alright, so I'm Tiffany Quinn, definitely subscribe to the channel and I will see you for the next video.